That's the one part of the safety system built into the car that you have control of. It's a law that you wear your seatbelt. Now you may choose to break that law and not wear your seatbelt, but there are laws that you cannot break, and those are the laws of physics. Seatbelts are the simplest and most effective way to prevent death or injury in the event of a crash, especially when you're driving alongside impaired or distracted drivers. We want to start the summer safely. Memorial Day starts the deadliest season when it comes to traffic fatalities. We have the opportunity to get in front of this this year. And number one, uh, the number one thing we have, the number one tool we have to slow down traffic fatalities we see in the summertime is where it's seen. I estimated that in the time you reach the pavement going 40 miles an hour to your speed was zero. Go acceleration of probably at least 200 G's. Jet pilots, fighter pilots, never have to take more than 10 G's in acceleration, so you would be experiencing more than 20 times the maximum acceleration of fighter pilots. You would not walk away from it. And I hope that you don't try to push on the laws of physics and see if you can walk away from the acceleration of 200 G's. Thank you.